Pilots have been putting LED strips on their quads for a long time. They do it for a couple of reasons. Once they can fly it at night and be able to tell the orientation. And also just because it looks cool and also makes it show up better in races. Well now these are the cool thing. The tiny LEDs, they look like this. These were uh, came from Heli Nation and they're two bucks each. So to get a set of four is like eight bucks. And these are actually orange. Well, just like the clone frames, well, now they have clone tiny LEDs. <laughs> Here are the tiny LEDs, and I bought four of them, and they just come all stuck together like this, and they just they should just break apart pretty easily, just like that. Now up here on the top, they have two different solder points, one for the positive and one for the negative, and the positive is over here on this side. You can kind of tell, and there's the negative. Now these aren't pre-tinned or anything, so they just you just tin them up yourself and solder them on, and they're ready to go. And these are good for four or a five and six S batteries, so. And you got the positive and negative. And there's no grounds or anything down here. At least I don't think those are positive and negative there. So when you put this on your quad, what I've been doing is I put a little piece of tape on the back of it, stick it on the quad, and then tape over this part of it so the LEDs stick out on the back. That way you can see them when you're flying around. So here's a set of them I have installed. And I have them going up here, and they, they solder straight into my um, into the, where the battery connects on. So I'm getting straight 6S power to these LEDs. Now, I only have them on one arm. I, some people really want to have them on all four, but I think having them on one is enough, especially if you're <laughs> just kind of chintzy, you don't want to run all those wires everywhere. The big advantage of having these LEDs on here is that you can see them so much better, and you'll, your quad will show up a lot better when you are in races. And you want to put it on the bottom, preferably on the back, that way when you're flying forward, people behind you will be able to see them. And it just looks cool. Maybe you put one up on top for when it's flying at the crowd. But anyway, the LEDs are kind of cool. Well, you, you know, just like the clone frames, it wasn't going to be long until somebody made the, another cheaper version. Now these are also uh, good for 4 to 6S, and they look just like the tiny LEDs. But are they exactly the same? Well, no. These come in a four pack. Here you get four of them for $3.59. It also comes with some little short wires, and I, got, I picked up a set of green ones and a set of red ones. So the Banggood ones here on the left come with their own wires, and if you look closely, you can also tell that the solder pads are also pre-soldered. Now it's not a big deal, but they it is more than what you get over here. These come for two dollars each, and you get just this. There's no pre-soldered or pre-tinned uh, pads. The tiny now, LEDs are about eight by eighteen millimeters. These Banggood LEDs are about ten by twenty millimeters. The tiny LEDs they weigh in about Oh, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 grams. The Banggood LEDs, they weigh in about 0.8 grams. So they're about twice as heavy. Well, if you're going to use one, there's probably not going to be much of a weight difference that you'll even notice, but with a 0.4 gram difference. But if you're going to put four of them on, then you'd have a little bit more difference. You'd like, what, 1.6 grams of difference between the two of these if you're going to put four on. But for one, I don't think it really matters. Both of these LEDs are rated 5S and 6S. So here I have the two Banggood ones on the outside and there's the uh, Tiny's LED in the middle. And they're all connected up to the same power distribution board and I'm just gonna plug some batteries into it. First I got my 6S battery here and I'm gonna plug this in. Oh yeah, they're all super, super bright and they're all hurting my eyes. <laughs> all right, so here's a 4S. I don't have a 5S to try with, but a 4S, a 4S still lights up the LEDs with no problem. Here's a uh, 3S Rhino battery. This sucker is old. If I plug it in, the question is will they light up? Oh yes, they light up just fine. The red is the dimmest and the orange is the second brightest and then the green is the brightest on these here. But the, the brightness on these kind of LEDs, it's real hard to compare a green Banggood one versus an orange Tiny's LED because just the, the nature of the LEDs are gonna be different when they, uh, the nature of the nature of the LEDs color is going to be different when different voltages go through. But here's a 2S battery, and we'll try to plug this in. Oh yeah, and there are light, the 2S is lighting it up too. This tiny's orange is the dimmest. This is a little bit brighter, and the green is still the brightest. If you're going to be flying during the day, you're going to want something that's a little bit lighter color, like a green or an orange or a white. They're going to shine real well during the day. Uh, actually, my orange, I think, shines pretty well, too. Red is probably going to be the dimmest color of all the LEDs that you get. So if you get red, they're going to look really cool at night, but they'll just be a little bit harder to see during the day. So the biggest difference between the Tiny's LEDs and the Banggood LEDs is really just the size. 
These are a lot, these are a little bit smaller, they're about half the weight, but we're talking about something that's really light to begin with. Also, these are originally designed by somebody and these were copied by another company. So if you want to support the original uh, designer, then these would be the way to go. If you want to save some bucks and get a, get a whole set for the price of two of these, then these are the way to go. These Banggood LEDs are only available currently in red and green. There'll probably be more colors later. The tiny LEDs are available in a whole array of colors. And also the Banggood ones come with their own wires. But anyway, that's them. I'm going to put... Uh, I'm, been flying with the one LED on my quad. I'm probably going to put an LED on every quad that I build from now on just so that it shows up a little bit better in the races. You can put four on if you want, but I think it's kind of overkill and it's a lot of extra wiring that I don't want to do. Anyway, if you have any questions about these, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.